Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's session of Ask Zak with myself, Zak. And tonight we're going to start uh, talk about how to start your own poultry business, and especially our focus is on what equipment you need to start your own poultry farming business. Now, first of all, uh, we're talking about this because our temperatures are going up. It's a little bit easier to keep our chickens warm. Uh, it is a more favorable time of the year to grow your own uh, day-old broiler. So a lot of farmers are starting up with it. So first and foremost that you need is, of course, this structure that you've got your, uh, that you house your poultry in, your poultry house. Now, very important with your poultry house. If you look at the knock of the, uh, the, the roof, the long part of the roof, you want it to lo uh, look from east to west. You don't want sun coming in uh, directly from the sides if you build, uh, build it from north to south. So the ideal is from east to west. Next is, of course, you want curtains on the sides. So preferably curtains that you can lower from the top to let air in instead of raising it from the bottom because then you uh, create an unnecessary draft uh, on your chickens. So just make sure you've got curtains on both sides. That helps a lot with the uh, ventilation. We get onto farms sometimes that people you just use any structure they can get. Uh, which is not wrong, but unfortunately you're creating a bigger challenge for yourself because most farmers struggle with ventilation and ventilation on hot days is just as important as keeping in heat on cold days. So be very aware of it. You want on both sides, you want to have openings through which you can regulate the ventilation of the poultry house. So those structures you build yourself. Now, very important is you need to know how many chickens you can place in your poultry house. It doesn't help you overpopulate uh, your poultry house because then you're going to run into uh, production problems. So very important. We usually place, rule of thumb is 12 birds per square meter. So if you want to calculate it, you take the uh, width of your building and the length, you multiply that, get it your answer, and that you multiply by 12 to see how many chickens you can place inside that poultry house. It's very important as overpopulation can help with disease spread, cause uh, production problems, and all those things you do not want to struggle with. The next thing that's very, very important is, of course, the equipment inside the house. In the first stage, of course, we want to keep the chicks hot. So in warmer places, like in Limpopo, we usually use our red lights, but you, you, can, use, uh, you can go down to one red light per hundred. In the colder areas like here, Belfast and Malo, we usually push it up to two red lights for every hundred uh, chickens that you place inside your uh, poultry house. The next step is you've got them warm, but now you need to make sure they get enough food and water. So there is a very important rule of thumb when it comes to your uh, chickens. Usually it's three feeders, three feeders for every hundred chickens that you place. The reason for it is you don't want unnecessary competition amongst the animals. If you put in too little, you, the, your stronger birds are going to keep your weaker birds away. They're going to grow, uh, grow nicely, but those weaker ones is going to stay behind. And then when you walk into a, a poultry house, you always see the uneven growth. Some chickens larger, some ch uh, chickens smaller. And that is a big cause of that is unnecessary competition. So make sure you've got enough feeders in place for those animals to function properly and get enough food in. Of course, the next one is water. Very, very important. We work on at least two drinkers, depending on the size, per hundred birds. Very important. Again, with your, uh, as with your feeders, your drinkers, your animals need to be able to get water in freely. There mustn't be unnecessary competition. You can run into problems. Now, guys, look out for our farmers' days. We've, we're up and running to two farmers' days per week again. So check out our Facebook page for every uh, Friday. We advertise our up-and-coming farmers' days. Come in to learn. That's what he, we're there for. And if you want more information about the equipment, where to, to get them, how to use it, come into your nearest also one-stop shop or get in uh, contact with your nearest technical advisor. We're here to help. We want to see you succeed. But 
to remember, do not take unnecessary shortcuts that's going to cost you money. Do it right from the start so that you know you are successful. So from my side, till next week, same time, same place, have a good evening.